Assalamu alaikum and good morning everyone. How are you today? Hope you all are fine in your house. This is our science class. I'm your teacher Lubna. We will continue our chapter material around us. In this chapter, we have one important topic. The name of the topic is living and non-living things. I hope you all are ready for your science lesson. Let's begin our lesson. Our topic is living things. First, we are going to learn about what are living things. What are living things? Our first question is, what are living things? The introduction of living thing uh, is, living things can breathe. They can eat. They can grow and they can make more of their own. Also, they can get nutrients in the form of water and food. Here we have different examples of living things. So you can understand easily what are living things. Plants, human, insects and animals. These all are living things. Because they can move, they can grow, they can reproduce and also they take nutrients in the form of water and food. Mm. The next topic is non-living things. In this topic, we will learn the properties of non-living things. Non-living things cannot eat, cannot breathe. They do not grow and they do not have any kind of life in them. For example, here we have the example of non-living things such as table, chair, balloon, TV and many more. What is the difference between living things and non-living things? Here, I will tell you some main differences what they have. Living things have these properties and these properties will make them different from non-living things. Living things can grow, can breathe, can move and they do reproduce and also they can they take nutrients in the form of food and water. However, non-living things cannot do these things. First of all, they can't grow, they cannot move, even they can't breathe, they do not reproduce or they can't take nutrients in any form. Here, I have some pictures for you. So this is your work to make them separate in the form of living things and non-living things. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you understand our today's topic. Stay safe in the house.